My name is Jimmy, his name is Jake, and this is the Weekly Dumb. Jake, how dumb does it, does it do? How are you? Jimbo, I was just in the dumb city, a.k.a. Chicago. Uh, city built on <laughs> wow. lies. City built on lies. Oh, deep dish sucks. Chicago dog. Pretty good, though. How are you doing? How's my, how's my goddaughter? She is doing great. Only pees or poops when the diaper's off, basically. Mm. So a lot of that going on. Ruining a lot of cute outfits, basically, is what she's doing. It's like, hey, well, now you're going to look dumb. Put her in a clown suit after she got me two times in a row. Oh, come on. Clown suit? <laughs> That's what she gets. Clown soup. Clown soup. Yes. Boiled. Ugh. Ugh. Let's go to the sports. Jimmy, let me get you caught up in the sports world because the big thing comes from my snakes, the Diamondbacks. We had another cat on the field and we had, A, we haven't talked about cats on here in a long time, but B, we had two brothers in the same game, the Fletchers. They're wife and fiance are sitting next to each other and the cat goes off the field into their little bay. So we've got brothers, cats, lovers. I do not blame the fiance with how scared she got. She only protected herself. She didn't go into attack mode. I think that's really admirable. I would have been throwing kicks. Oh, we know. That was a pretty feral looking cat. It had some spots on it, but no no cat will ever out feral the Colorado cat. Zach, I don't know if Zach can just throw like a screen. quick picture of Zach. it. I'll put that on the screen. Dude, that Colorado the Rockies screen. cat was garbage. Make it the whole screen. <laughs> Jim, there's almost a breakdown. I didn't know which way you were going to go on this. We have grandparents racing on a horse track. I love the grandparents race. I got really into this. I enjoyed slowing it down. Two grandparents do take falls. The one guy, real tall, like real tall for a grandpa, and he's just not getting his knees up enough, and you're running on... You know, rough terrain. Dude, running on a horse track. Screw that. He falls real hard early, and you're like, oh, wow, he's a grandpa. That that yeah. stinks. The other guy in blue also falls, and he thought he was going to make it. I think tall grandpa's funny. I think he's got a funny bone, and he's like, I'm going to run until I fall. That's I fair. think blue grandpa thought he was going to make it, eats it pretty bad. Did you see the two in the back? Which two in the back? There's a... So there's a, a couple. It's beautiful. And the grandpa doesn't even try to race, just the gates open, and he's like, I'm a human, not a horse. All right. Honey, are you okay? And holds her hand, and they walk together the whole way as uh, grandparents, and I thought, invite those guys back. No, I'm going to fade the fade there. You're here to race. What if they're not married, and she's the wife of the blue shirt guy and the other dude is comforting her. If you're going on racetrack affair during the race, then I'm open to some different things. But I don't think that's what happened. Okay. But I'm making an assumption and you know what happens when you make an assumption, Jim. You uh, suck ass. We talk about... <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> I forget the saying. Jim, in the more sports that you were telling me about, this video is actually a wild ride. When I first clicked... Uh, this kid saves another kid from foul ball. I was kind of like, oh, I don't, I don't think I'm going to be into this. Like, is this going to be a kid stealing a foul ball from another ball? We are teased with the bigger kid and a littler kid that you think big kid is about to save little kid. Au contraire, mon frere. Big kid is about to get popped in the nose and little kid gives him the reach around and snags it right in front of his dome. This is a win for the smalls. Yep, shut up, mon frere. The uh, older kid, this sucks for him that it was taped because yes. he would be telling the general pop, gen pop, he'd be telling gen pop, he'd be like, oh, he stole it from me. I was going to catch it and he had a glove. I didn't have a glove, so he's cheating. He stole it from me. And now the whole world is like, nah, dude, he saved your life. You're going to have a broken nose. Okay. So basically if I was the tall kid, here's your argument. Little kid's glove is right in front of his face that if it's not there, I think tall kid has a much better chance to catch it. If you look where he catches it, the glove is over his eyeball, so it's kind of rude. Little kid's glove doesn't get there until last second. I think that's a little camera magic. Cause okay. It's not like, right. I mean, think about the characters in play here. You think he's waiting to the last second to see if it hits his buddy schnoz and put his glove there? It's a little camera magic. The glove is there. It's covering his buddy's eyes. But I'm not defending that tall freak. You're out, dude. You went a little too hard defending the, the, the tall kid I said kid if there. I, basically, I did a defense if that happened to me. Um... But no, lose for the talls. Major L. Yeah. That was major. Magnify his whole head when he does the L oh, thing. Oh, that's tough. Or go to DraftKings, use code DUMB, sign up. Jim, there was this not sports that you said you originally, you weren't even going to do this weekly, DUMB. You said, I'm going to have another kid. I want one now. I want one now. And then we were like, let's do one. 
Pop. This is a tough story because at the base of it is it's it's terrible. Uh, right. This woman was sleeping on the airplane and she woke up and the dude uh, next to her had stood up. He doesn't know where he is. He thinks he's in the bathroom. He leans on the overhead luggage and just starts taking his dick out and starts peeing. And then the woman wakes up and she's just staring down uh, the barrel of his wiener yeah. getting peed on. And she's she's not happy about it. And she has every right to be. When I was young, uh, like 16, just started drinking, uh, junior in, in co- uh, high school, I, I did pee on my friend Max right. in the same vein. I peed on Max's crotch, which was crazy good aim by me. Max woke up at 4 a.m., thought he pissed himself, was really embarrassed, yeah. and left. So no one would see his stain on his pants. And then we were like, no, I peed on you. And he was somewhat relieved that he didn't pee on himself, but then... 50% even more upset that it was someone else's pee. So it happens, but I think it can't happen on a flight. It can't and happen on, on an international flight. Like something local. Oh, call from Joe's. House parties only. Joe's? Hey, hey, Jake. Hey, Jake. What's going on? Hi, Jake. We're recording the weekly dumb, man. Are you so? Oh, Jimmy's here. I can't hear him. I just wanted to ask you about like some details about the thing tomorrow. Going in tunnel. See, Joe's. Yo's McLier, what I've been calling him. It's the employee of employee the week. Employee of the week. Employee shh, bring the sheep. Shh, shh, it's the employee. It's not Joe's. <laughs> no, not Joe's. No, not Joe's at all. It goes to Rob M. Warehouse Bob. Ball and Play League. First part already came out. Uh, him, he was a lead editor on this one. Him and the crew, uh, Grap and Ronnie, they got all 11 games fully edited before like the second one dropped, which is insane and awesome. So good job by them. Go check it out. Ball and play. Boing, boing. Go baggage. I hope I don't go blind. That was the Weekly Dumb. Today's episode of the Weekly Dumb was sponsored by DraftKings, the best place to get yourself closer to the action. DraftKings Sportsbook is offering all new customers $150 in bonus bets instantly so download the DraftKings Sportsbook app now and use promo code DUMB to get five dollars on any wager and get 150 in bonus bets instantly that's promo code DUMB only at DraftKings Sportsbook minimum age and eligibility restrictions apply see show notes for details you hear that didn't hear your claps either though so not too loud for you I think it doesn't like read it because it's like such a sharp noise. What about all those? Did you get all those? Zero. No noise, but it looks like you're barely touching your hands. No? No. Ah. You hear that? Got the noise. Yeah. What about this? Ah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Got that. Did you hear that? No. <laughs> what?